Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Mirror Dimensions. So it's been a few hours since the last episode, and I decided that I would get three more time theorems with eternity points, and then I'd get this study down here. Replicandy galaxies are 40% more effective. And that's weaker than these two studies, which is why we only use this path when we're farming time theorems, and this one later on. We're also going to buy this, and then, um... I guess, because I can, I'll buy like two more of these and then I'll max all my time dimensions. And let's see how many eternity points we can get. Um, It's going to be at least 110 million. Like I'm trying to find the peak eternity points per minute. And it looks like work still going up. It looks like it's like still like around here. So let's respect. Actually, no, let's not res. Yeah, we we're gonna respect, and then we're gonna do um ten quick eternities. So we just um set this to one, and then we wait until we've done ten of these. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've done my 10 quick eternities, which means I can um, turn this off and then just go like this. And as you're going to see, this is up to 50 times because I did those 10 quick eternities. So we're going to get that. And because automatic replicandy galaxies are disabled, we have to hold R to get them. But it's going to be um, much better because they're much more effective. And we have 50 times more eternity points, but um, for when we're sort of idle, we have to use the middle path because the right path isn't that useful yet, but it will be at some point. Um, so we're already up to like E1200 infinity points, and we can get 50% more of these, so now the max is technically 25. Um, I'm actually going to turn this off and crunch manually when I have my max replicated galaxies. So, um, look, normally the maximum would be 17, but as you're going to see, we can go beyond that. So that's even more overpowered. So we are jumping like nearly 100 orders of magnitude here. And look at this. E1320 infinity points. That was a 100 order of magnitude jump. And now I can get 27 replicated galaxies. Because half of the purchases will give you two. So it's even crazier. And look at this. I'm already passing my um infinity points. I guess that's expected though. But look at this. I'm going to get 27 replicated galaxies. And then I'm going to crunch for E1400 infinity points. And now I can get 28 replicated galaxies. My infinity points is lower, but it's going to catch up. So you have to hold R if you're using the left path. And here we go. My infinity points is back up to E1412. This is just crazy. Okay, here we go. And look at this. E1470. The next time theorem is at E1600 infinity points, and we need four time theorems for this last study. And these last studies are huge multipliers to infinity points. So let's see. We're going to we only need two more time theorems to get it. We have 28 replicated galaxies, and soon we're going to be able to get 30. Because um, we're going to go from 19 plus 9 to 20 plus 10. And I'm guessing you can do maths. Okay, there we go. That's E1500 infinity points. So we're going to get 30 replicated galaxies here. And look at this. Let's see how many infinity points we're going to get. 
um, we are up to 20, 21, 22, and we are passing our infinity points from before, and exceeding it, and it's just fast. Okay, here we go, E1559. It is slowing down a little bit, unfortunately. But E1600 infinity points doesn't seem so hard, and I can get a lot of eternity points if I eternitied. So yeah, you definitely want to max out this, because it lets you get more eternity points. Obviously, with this middle path, it's only 40%, but you can do it automatically, so it's best for eternity farming for now. Not eternity farming, eternity point farming. Here we go. Um. So let's see. We can get E1590 infinity points. And soon we're going to be able to get E1600 infinity points. So, um, look at this 13, 14, 15. And it just keeps going up. And it's going to, um, look at this. 27, 28, 29, 30. Look, E1600 infinity points. So you can get another time theorem. We're going to get this because we have spare time theorems, and that's going to help even more. So we're going to get up to 30 replicated galaxies again, and look how much stuff we're going to have. I want to get E320,000 antimatter. Um so that I can get another time theorem. It looks like we're close, because I can already see we're at E300,000. So it's going to go up. There we go. So we're going to enable respect, and we're going to... Um, look, 100% replicate chance. That's crazy, but even crazier is when we get um this... And then we can get all of these studies. So I don't know if I should go for even more time theorems, but maybe I should actually. Um. Wow! Look how many orders of magnitude I get on the first crunch. Wait, why did I? Why did I forget to do my ten quick eternities? Okay, guys, I'll see you when we've done our 10 quick eternities, but I'm just going to get time dimensions. Um, So, yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I've decided I would go down to here for my 10 quick eternities, so it was a bit faster. So, yeah, I will see you when we've done all of them. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I think I can turn this off and then get, like, more studies here. And now, we have multiplier to infinity points decaying over this infinity. So it's a little bit awkward because it decays, but... Yeah, we're going to turn that off. We're going to get our replicated galaxies going, and... So the multiplier decays, as you can see, over the infinity. But hopefully, we won't have to spend too long in the infinity. So... The next time study is this one, 10,000 times multiplier on all time dimensions. And um, then we'll be getting close to the eternity challenges. So look at this, 24 replicated galaxies. Now let's crunch for a nearly 200 order of magnitude jump. So now we can get 25 replicated galaxies. Um, I think I'll actually speed this up. Um, I will not speed this up, but I think I'll just see you guys when we're capped. So yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I can crunch for E1800 infinity points. So I can get two time theorems for infinity points. And I'm also able to get one for antimatter, if I wanted to. And another thing that happened is that I got this achievement here. And I'm close to getting this one, so that's like a lot of row 10 achievements. So I'm going to buy two of these, 
And when I can get E340,000 antimatter, which will be soon, I'll buy one of these. And then I'm gonna eternity. And then, um, we're gonna see how many eternity points I can get. Actually, wait. Um, do you think I can maybe push to... Here, I mean, there's no point, but... I'm gonna eternity. So I've I've made over E three hundred fifty thousand antimatter, and I'm going to spend my eternity points. I'll get like a t two time theorems, and I'll max my time dimensions, even though that doesn't do much. And then I'm going to go here, go for the normal route. And as you can see, I can get all three of these plus one of these, and even this one. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna just see. Um, I'm also gonna set this to 1e50, because at this point of the game, 1e50 is best. So I'm going to eternity, and then we'll see how many eternity points per minute I can get and where it peaks. So, it's just gonna, like, do a few, like, little jumps that are gonna, like, space out in time until eventually they stop. So, I think that they, like, space out in time when, um, when we have got, like, we when you have to get max replicated galaxies and when we simply can't crunch at 1 50 times last crunch anymore, it will stop. It might be a little bit of time before that happens, but okay, 490 million. Oh, it's going, the attorney points per minute is going up. 640 million. Seems like a good idea. It's going to be crazy how many attorney points we get in like an hour. Oh, it's going up eight hundred forty million. It's just it just keeps wanting to go up. That's the thing. It might even go up again. Yep. And it looks like one point one billion. It's good now. And chances are it will go up again. Maybe not. Yep. Um, one point four billion. Now let's see. Um, it's gonna go to like 1.8 billion. And it looks like that's good. So I'm gonna set it to like 1.6 just so that it's in between because the amount it crunches at might fluctuate. So I'm gonna set it to like 1.5e9. And it's gonna be crazy how much progress we'll make in a few hours. We'll have like hundreds of billions of eternity points. So hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye!